second playthrough of my play of my channel. This is the Pokemon White Randomizer Chili Lock. So, if you're excited about this new series, by all means, click a like down below and subscribe because there's going to be more chili shenanigans happening right now. So, we'll get this episode started with. Now, I'll explain how exactly these chili passes work. Well, so what I'm going to do is Every episode, I'm going to add 30 seconds to the time it takes for me to react without um, eating a chili. So, this first episode, I'll have 30 seconds and then I will grab something because I've got my glass of milk right here. And then the next episode will be a minute, then a minute 30. So, that way, it just makes it more challenging for me. So, we're going to go ahead and get started with this randomizer. But before we do that, we've got this bag of chilies over here. And we're going to eat our first chili of this series. I'm a little bit nervous about this. So I'll just show you guys. This is the, the little chili here. So uh, now I feel about this. This is uh, chili number one. Uh, depending on how bad it is, I might change the rule, make it maybe just a minute at most. But we'll just say how bad this is. Oh, that, that's, that smells pretty bad. So let's go ahead. We're going to do this. Chili number one. I'll just uh, fix this up because we're now going to be into our first but boom there we go so we're going to have our first chili so here it is first episode of the chili lock here we go wow that's actually pretty hot time stops now oh my god it's so bad oh <laughs> oh that's so bad while well, I do this Hi there, my name's Professor Jennifer. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Oh, and time's up. Oh my god. Oh. Still attacking me. I just think this is just the first episode. Huh? Oh my god, this is bad. We'll get to this. So, uh, uh, let's get this introduction. Uh, gosh, that is very hot indeed. Uh, now I decided on Pokemon White because um, because Pokemon White was uh, after playing Diamond. It was a good game that I got into. Oh, oh my God. So 
sorry about this. Um, it was a really good game, it had a really good storyline, and I liked the... Everything about this game was pretty good. The themes, and the enemies, and everything else. Oh, God. So we're going to be the girl in this one. A little bit different, because we were the guy in the last one. And we'll still be CJSS64. Oh, so yeah, the actual tears. Tears of joy. Because I'm so happy about doing this. Oh, my God. Oh. All right. Maybe we'll go 15 seconds. We'll go 45 seconds. And we'll see how that goes. So, we have seen just the four. Great. Nice to meet you, Professor Juniper. Sharon and Bianca. Nice to meet you guys. Huh. Alright. My first randomizer playthrough with the chili lock. Sweet. Alright, so. Awesome, yeah. So, apparently the seasons are a bit mixed up because right now it's July and um, it's actually winter over here in Australia. Uh, See, it's not my throat, it's just my mouth which is burning. Okay, so. Huh, it's all pink. Great, it's a good girl. Girls rock. See, just as it's for. I heard from Professor Jimper that we can have a Pokemon. What's giving Bianca? I'll try to do voices as best I can with the. Chili. Am I a little late again? So sorry. Bianca, I've been there for 10 years that you have no sense of time, but. Today's the day we get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. I know, sorry CGSS64, sorry Sharon. So where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to CGSS64, uh, the CGSS64's house, so he would get the first pick. Oh, sorry, she would get the first pick. Naturally. <coughs> oh, that burp hurt. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside their gift box. Okay, CGSS64, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Alright, so here we go. So, this isn't going to be Snivy, Tepig, and Oshawott from the original. So, let's go ahead and see what uh, Pokemon. Oh, wait, we got Lev first. I brought three Pokemon one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle, please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon from Professor Juniper. Pull out the ribbons and uh, let's see what we got. Vanillite. Machop and Timpo. Hmm, that's an interesting choice. I'm leaning more towards um, Vanillite over all of them just because I like Vanilla. So I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, Vanillite. Vanillite is going to be our Pokemon. Yay, Vanillite! Alright. So Sharon will pick that, and then Bianca. Yeah, shut up Sharon, just take your Pokemon. Everyone has chosen Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, no, let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca, even though there's still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. Don't be a worry -wart. These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. It's settled. CGS 64 get ready for a Pokemon battle. So here we go, first Pokemon battle with our beginner against Jill. So you're no longer uh, Bianca, you're a Jill. And she's an analyst. Which is pretty funny because she's so oblivious. A duosion. Okay, this might be a bit of a problem. Oh, still got a pin chill in the mouth. Oh. Let's see what moves we've got. Icicle Spear and Harden. So let's go for an Icicle Spear and see how that goes. See so if we can get a fight. That's two. Three? Three times! Not bad! No time to charm. Really? Oh no! Really? Well that sucks. So basically we have to kill this duo now or we lose the vanilla ice. I think two hits should do it. And the third hit cinches it. Whew! Thank god! Third time's charm. Seems to be my catchphrase. Vanilla goes to level six. That's great! And we defeat Analyst Jill. Great. And now my bedroom is now a mess. Wow! CGS64, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell. No doubt. Um, 
Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around her bedroom? Being such an analyst, she would know that that's gonna do that. Whoa, what happened? <coughs> wow, so Pokemon are amazing! So little, but so strong. I'm so glad that I got to have a Pokemon. Oh, um, sorry about your MC just 64. You know, my mum will clean up, no worries. You were completely hopeless. At least some are certain. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Your Pokemon are healed. You will need fixing too. Hey! Hey Sharon, how about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning this room into a disaster like I did. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair for you two to be the only ones that are battling to have fun. It's decided, you'll be my opponent in my very first Pokemon battle. Let's see what we can do with my Pokemon. So now we've got Rochelle, or Rachel, depending on however way you want to look at it. Uh, analyst Rachel too, so there's two analysts. Great. Good bravo. This is just perfect for us, because we've got just the Pokemon for that Vibrava. So let's go ahead and go for that Icicle Spear. Oh, he's out speed. Go for the Fane Attack. Happy won't do too much. Six damage, it's not bad. So, Icicle Spear. And two hits is going to be enough to take it out. Fantastic. Fantastic. Vibrava Fane, we get more experience. And Vanilla Light's now level seven. I'm taking out two and Lance Astonish. Great! So that's a Pokemon battle, and we get money for winning. Yay! I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. Well, you didn't make any mistakes, it was just the fact that my Pokemon was just better than yours. But first, we better go ahead and apologize to your mum for the messed up room. Oh, I better come too. Yeah, because that's what we're all about. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out our vanilla first off. So, let's check its nature. Naughty nature. Increase attack of a special defense. So, this is just going to be a fragile offensive mon. And it's got ice body. So, um, how would obviously be an optimal move for it. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. What are you, can protect us? Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries. I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to make Professor to Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please, excuse me. Well, excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, wait. i got to go home first. Thanks for having us over. <coughs> so I mess my room up and then I'm left with responsibility. Great friends I have. My, my, CJ64, Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cr cries clear down here. Must have super sonic hearing. Hmm, that sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need a rest of Pokemon. Rest your Pokemon. Sorry, it's the chili that's making me tick speak like a spastic. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your cross transceiver. So we now go across to Agency Vessels, which is like the new Apple phone watch, which is pretty sweet because Pokemon pretty much gave Apple that idea, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> You're going to thank Professor 2, right? Better get going, honey. Thanks, Mum. Bye! Because you know I'm a girl in this game. So, now we're going to go get Bianca. Now, the question of the day for this first episode, since we're talking about how unfortunate chili eating can be, what is your least favourite food? Now, for me, I despise olives. I don't care what kind of olive it is, black olive, calamata olive, green olive. I do not like olives in general, so if you want to piss me off, bring me an olive and I'll do it for you. No, no, a thousand times no. But I'm, I'm a good trainer who's got a Pokemon and everything. I could totally go on an adventure. It's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? And just leaves her father mid-conversation. Every girl, what they do with the guy. <sighs> I just want to get those running shoes, but you don't get that until after um, the first city. Okay, let's go meet the professor. Quite the analyst. All right. <sighs> nice tree music. 
there. I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Professor Juniper. We know your name. Come, come, Sharon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon back. So maybe that's why it feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Absolutely. So we're going to call this, uh... We're going to call this, uh... Um, um, if I can speak. We're going to call our Vanillaite, we're going to call it, uh, Snowcone. Which I know sounds pretty lame, because it's so obvious, but I'm going to call it, uh, Snowcone. Snowcone. <sighs> Snowcone. Aha, uh -huh, I see. So you're going to stick with, uh, Snowcone, are you? So there we go, so we've got Snowcone added to the team, which is actually pretty good. So Snowcone is now the newest member of our team. Snowcone is its name, it has such a great name. <coughs> as for why I gave you all, you, oh, as why I gave you all for Pokemon. It's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? I am astonished, nice work, Sharon. You've already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning, for everyone's sake. The Pokédex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokémon you encounter. So, I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokémon in the Unova region. This is my request. CJ, Source 64, Sharon, Bianca, you go on an adventure to complete this Pokédex, will you not? Answer, freaking lootly. That's the whole point of the Chili Lock. Okay, I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer exactly as I've always wished. You all of you, thanks. You didn't even get my answer. Oh yeah, I said, <laughs> yeah! You have given me the best possible answer. And we get the pink Pokedex because we're the girl. So we got the Next, I'll teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? So let's... Since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course, we can travel however we want while we complete the, compo the Pokedex. Alright, so let's quickly go through here. We might try and get our first encounter on here as well. Oh wait, we've got some interruptions. Come on, see Jess as a wait up! Hold it. Oh, there you are, and what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it! Well, actually, I can. So, feigned sarcasm. I already knew she was going to ask. That's why I brought you three of these town maps. Take them with you. So, we got our town maps, which is good. We got the start off. Here you are, Sharon. I'll take good care of it. And one for you, Bianca. Thank you so much. As for your room, CJ664, or what's left of it, uh, no need for you to worry, I'll take care of tidying it up. Okay, CJ664, you go out and catch some wild creatures. Have a time of your life. Ah, oh, Pokemon, they're so cute, but when they have enough power to destroy a bedroom, they are really something. With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I will let your parents know. In addition to that, Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you'll like in your neighbor region. And become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? The professor's waiting for us. Let's go, let's go! He just has except four. Hurry up and come on, okay? So, 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 so. CJ's explore, it's this way! Bianca says that we're starting a journey together. She wants us all to take our first steps at the same time. Hey, CJ says it's four. Let's all take our first step into Route 1 together. Okay, here we go. One, two, uh, and we're in that one. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. 
Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex's pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's set up so that you can obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. And she's psychic because she knows exactly where to go to find a Pokemon. Roll for trap. Don't worry, this is all hasn't been randomized, this part of it. That <sighs> chilling man. I mean it's gone most of it now. Um, I'll definitely be extending my breaks for the milk. We'll see how we go with it. Use a poke up leveling its HP. If you still haven't got this up in this is a game, just no. The only excuse is if you haven't played it before, this is your first game playing. <sighs> and she caught up a track. <laughs> Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. First reduce a Pokemon's HP. Pokemon that still have all their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch. For Super Paralyzer. And to wrap this up in the best way, I have a gift for you. Some Pokeballs. So now the Nuzlocke officially begins now because we have Pokeballs. Pokeballs used for catching Pokemon for carrying a Pokemon you catch. I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Accumula Town. That's the name of the first time. I was trying to remember what it was. I was going to say Striton, but that's the second city. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out at you at tall grass. I'm heading to Akuma Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute. There's enough. Okay, this is where she's... Ah, do we have to? Boom there. Let's see who can catch the most Pokemon. Really? That's the whole point? To catch them all? I'm so shocked. Alright, so... Let's see if we can either get our first encounter, because what I want to do is... Get to the next... Okay, we've got our encounter. So our encounter for this round is... A Charizard. Wow! Quite the encounter. And what better for a chili lock. But the only problem is... We can Astonish it. But if it has a fire move, we're done. So we'll go for Astonish and see how we go. Okay, it does scratch. Not bad. We'll go for one more astonish, hopefully it doesn't crit. Alright. Oh, it does have a fine move. Crap. Alright. Can we get the burn? Alright. Let's see if we can catch this Pokemon. Come on, Pokemon. First try, we got a Charizard on our first playthrough. Oh my gosh, that is terrific. But we have a burnt snow cone, which is not good at all. But we got a Charizard! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. It is said that Charizard's fire burns hotter if it has experienced harsh battles. <sighs> okay, Charizard, nickname for you. We're gonna call you. I'm gonna give you the initials DFA. You know what DFA stands for? Death from above. So we've got DFA added to our team and I'm just so excited about this. We've got a Charizard on our first play, on the second playthrough in the first round. Like how exciting is this? Like, like how do you describe that? Like, we have a Charizard. So we're going to go ahead and check out this Charizard, see it, check its stats. It's a hasty nature and it's got Ember, Growl, Scratch and Smokescreen. So not bad, it just means if there's a rock type Pokemon, we have to run for our lives because... Let's just fix that up. Because rock Pokemon are not going to be our best friend whatsoever because we've got a Vanillite and a Charizard. And uh, we've got another uh, encounter, let's see, oh, Stantler. Excuse me. Snow Cone, we're not going to fight you, we don't try, we're burnt by some miracle from that Charizard, but you know what, if it meant us getting burnt, that increased our chances to get that Charizard, then so be it. 
How about I suggest six four? Do you want to compare which one has the? Okay. Yep. So, so Stegius is the one has two. So we all have the same number then. Yay! We've got two Pokemon. Yay! Instantly, if you want to check the Pokedex, you can see how many Pokemon you caught. I'm off to Cumulant Town. The professor is waiting. Oh, hang on. Apple phone. Go Zorba. Zorba. <laughs> Power Rangers. Pick up the exchange up. Hello, how's everyone doing? Well, you and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, Professor! Right now I'm in front of Cuba Town's Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so everyone, hurry up, everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center. Okay, bye. Jeez, you're so rude. Well, I'm going on ahead. Bianca doesn't show Me too! So here we are, we're in Cuba Town. Oh, I love this dude. And it says we talk to dice. <sighs> All good things die. Oh, so this is explore. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of life. Please follow me. I'll show you the most important steps. Oh, sorry, the most important place for a Pokemon trainer. So we're here at the Pokemon Center. This is a Pokemon Center. Really? I didn't get it from the it says Pokemon Center. Huh. Let's start your tour. Yay! Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place, and do you know why? Because they have Pokemon. Because they can heal Pokemon, and it's absolutely free. It is a trainer's best friend. Give it a try. A try what? Talk to her, not to me. It's your fault. It made me face you. Hi there. You want to help your Pokemon? They have a bear right here. I don't know why I put on an accent. I apologize for that. Your Pokemon all healed. Have a nice day. Ha ha. See you again. You and your multiple. Twins and everything else, because in every Pokemon and cartoon, there's multiple nurse joys. So, PC box. So, it's an ATM for Pokemon, basically. In hindsight, that's a, that's pretty much all it is. Who's someone? That's a good question. You'll find out soon enough. If you haven't already played the first four gens, you know it's Bill. Spoilers alert. But the one thing I like about this game is the fact that they combine the the market with the Pokemon Center. So. If you wanted to buy things, you'd have to go to the next building to kind of find things. Okay, I'm all buy. Okay, buy. What should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are important. Let's see. Thank you. All right, I'll leave you to decide that. Now this is the part where Team Plasma come up. Something's going on in the plaza. <laughs> Let's take a look, see. All right. So I'm going to leave things here. So if you guys are excited for the very first playthrough, the first ever Chili Lock ever seen. Click the like button, subscribe, spread the hashtag ChiliLock on all social media to get people talking. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the first episode. We've got ourselves a, a Charizard, we've got ourselves a Vanillite. And it's a good start. The only problem is Rock becomes our worst enemy. I might grind up the Pokemon all off screen, so stay tuned for that. Next episode, I'm going to go 45 seconds without a Chili. If you guys think I should go longer, let me know. But I want to try to keep it within reason because I'm going to increase the time every episode. So... Until next time I see you guys, have a great day, wherever you are, whoever's watching this. This is CJS064, over and out, and I'll see you later.